We're only a few months away from the return of our favorite fast-talking, regenerating, degenerate Deadpool, and we finally got our first look at Josh Brolin's cable and all his tactical pouches in the first real trailer. Fortunately, there's plenty of other stuff to dig into, too. Follow along if you're unafraid of spoilers as we break down everything you missed in the Deadpool 2 trailer. Red Eye The trailer opens with our first look at Josh Brolin's cable, aka Nathan Summers. The character has been a beloved mainstay of the X-Men comics since his first adult appearance in 1990, and his glowing eye is as much of a calling card for him as it is for his optic blast-shooting father. Based on his ongoing narration about being born in a war, we can surmise that the movie will at least partially follow Summers' original origin as the time-displaced son of Scott Summers and Jean Grey's clone, raised in a dystopian future. More Machine Than Man in the comics, Cable is one of the most powerful mutants in the multiverse, but his potential is dampened by the techno-organic virus given to him as a child by the evil mutant apocalypse. The virus was meant to kill him, but he was saved by a talking ship and a one-way trip to the future, where he learned to keep the constantly spreading techno-organic virus confined to his left arm and eye, albeit at the expense of the full strength of his telekinetic powers. Whether Deadpool 2 will follow the convoluted story is anyone's guess. But in recent iterations, Cable has used a tricked-out metal arm for added combat effectiveness after being cured of the original virus, so it could go either way. Hope Although the trailer didn't give away any main plot points, the appearance of a battered teddy bear on Cable's hip has led to speculation that one of the storylines Deadpool 2 may be adapting is Cable's stewardship of Hope Summers. Unlike the rest of the Summers family, Hope isn't actually related to Scott, even though she bears a striking resemblance to Jean Grey. Instead, she was the first mutant born in a world that had the mutant genome removed by the Scarlet Witch's chaos magic power. Regardless, Hope Summers has been referenced previously, when her name appeared in the first teaser back in 2017. Up to 11. What's the most pain you've ever felt? We're not sure who Cable's asking, but odds are good that his gun is about to cause more pain than the most they've ever felt. Cranking it to 11 is a great use of the immortal gag from This Is Spinal Tap. Why don't you just make 10 louder and make 10 be the top number and make that a little louder? These go to 11. But even better, it's a pretty perfect encapsulation of Cable as a character and concept. He's the most hardcore mutant in the world. Of course his dials go past 10. Mutant freaks! I'll show you how to stand up to- Not today, friend. Ah! Not a mustache. One of the best gags in the trailer is a snide joke that makes fun of Warner Brothers digitally erasing Henry Cavill's mustache for Justice League. It's a metal arm! It's not like we're trying to remove a mustache! Based on what we saw of the mustacheless Cavill in Justice League, a metal arm really might be easier to make. That said, the best in-joke from the trailer is still Deadpool mocking Josh Brolin's other Marvel character, Thanos, and his quest for the Infinity Stones. I got the stones to help you. No! Domino We also get our first look at Domino, played by Zazie Beetz. This is the first time Domino has made it to the big screen. Although like Cable, she's been a fan favorite for years. In the comics, she's a consistent member of the X-Force, the secret strike team of the X-Family. She's an expert at shooting and stabbing, but her best quality on any team is her mutant ability, which encourages good luck around her and means things usually tend to just work out. We can expect Deadpool to make at least a couple of jokes about her mutant power being lazy writing, but he'd better hope she's on his side. Another detail that the movie may or may not address is that she also had a brief fling with another character appearing in Deadpool 2, Colossus. Negasonic Teenage Warhead One of the standout characters in the original Deadpool was definitely Negasonic Teenage Warhead. That's the coolest name ever! It looks like she's back for the sequel. She's grown her hair out a bit, but she looks as punk and angsty as she was in the original, so we should get some great interplay between her and Wade Wilson. New Team In a blink-and-you'll-miss-it moment, we see Deadpool in a plane flanked by Domino, Terry Crews, and two hard-to-see mutants. It's possible that Crews could be playing Bishop, the other time-traveling mutant on the X-Men, but he's usually working against Cable and has rarely been on X-Force. Don't make me hurt you! It's more likely that he's playing either Hammer or GW Bridge, both frequent Cable allies. Easier to spot is what looks like Shatterstar standing between Deadpool and Cruise. In the comics, he's a gladiator from a future dystopia called Mojo World. 
in between Domino and Deadpool looks like what could be Chamber, a mutant who drew the short straw of mutant powers with a bioenergy that constantly leaks from his lower face and throat. Side characters. It isn't just mutants that are coming back for the sequel. Blind Al, Vanessa, Weasel, and Dopender are all seen in the Deadpool 2 trailer. But we'll have to see how much time they get on screen with such a packed cast. As far as Wade's unpowered supporting cast goes, one character is decidedly absent. Bob, the agent of Hydra who was slyly referenced in the original. Bob? Wait? We'll have to see if Disney's lawyers have softened up enough to let Bob appear in Deadpool 2. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.